What we're going to be talking about next is how to condense logarithms. So this time we're basically doing the opposite process of what we were doing. Before what we were doing is we were taking logarithms and expanding them. Uh, now we're going to do is we're going to take our logarithms and we're going to put them together. Uh, one thing I need to just go back and talk about, um, these are all monomials. If you had a binomial, you couldn't break up a binomial. So if this were x minus 3, then you couldn't write log base b of x and log base b of negative 3. So just remember that the rules we're talking about are just for monomials. Here you can see this is a binomial in your logarithm and you can't break that one up. So just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to condense our logarithm. So this way we're going to go the opposite direction. So anytime you see a coefficient, you're going to rewrite that as an exponent. Anytime you have multiple logarithms, when we condense our logarithms, we're going to end up with just one logarithm. So we have log base 4 of 2 plus log base 4 of 32. So right now we have two logarithms, and we want to end up with just one. Since uh, log base 4 of 2 is positive, it's going to end up in the numerator. Log base 4 of 32 is also positive, so it's going to be the product of those two things. And since we can actually multiply those together, we'll log base 4 of 64. And then that can be simplified. So 4 to what power will give us 64? And it's third. So then that would be the condensed logarithmic form. Look at the next one. Uh, we can also put these together. So this has a positive coefficient. This has a negative coefficient. Remember, this is log base 10. So anytime you just have the log, the base is 10. So kind of keep that in mind. So we'll get the log. Uh, this is positive, so we'll go on the top. 4x minus 3. The x is, uh, has a negative coefficient, so we'll end up on the bottom. So we're taking the log of that whole thing right there. So that is the condensed form for both of those logarithms.